Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 23rd video in VCP7 Data Center Virtualization 2020 and in this video we are going to see how to create and manage virtual machine snapshot and in a v, uh, vSphere vCenter Server 7. So the first thing which we need to understand the snapshot is a not a backup solution for any hypervisor maybe you are using Hyper-V, VMware or any other like Citrix Zen servers or Red Hat um, KVM servers snapshot is a not a solution for the backup so snapshot basically can be used to revert your virtual machine on any specific uh, configuration or as a specific time which has been taken on the snapshot so like like you are doing some upgrade for the application might be you are doing upgrade for the MS office you are doing upgrade for the for any specific custom application which you are running on the on the virtual machines uh, might be you are upgrading your SQL server or any application you are upgrading inside your virtual machine and you want to make sure uh, you have a place to revert your machine very quickly in case anything goes wrong post uh, doing the upgrade so you can take the snapshot so whenever uh, if your uh, upgrade went successfully and everything goes well you will you will have the snapshot for the t one or two days just in case you need to revert back and else else you can go uh, and I I in case anything goes wrong during the upgrade and upgrade got failed due to any application in issue or any configuration issue then you have a place where you can revert quickly your virtual machine and get the virtual machine quickly up and running on the previous state where you have taken the snapshot so the first thing is a snapshot is a not a backup solution and snapshot can be used to go back in any specific time or configuration where you have taken the snapshot uh, and it's always recommended to follow the best practice to uh, to create and manage snapshot in your infrastructure which we are going to discuss in next slide so best practices for using snapshot in VMware vSphere environment so the first thing which we have already discussed do not use snapshot as a backup so snapshot is never going to be used as a backup you you can use other backup up, uh, applications like veeam or any other backup application to you know, get the backup of the virtual machine so maximum uh, of 32 snapshots are supported in a chain so you can um, basically create 32 snapshots for the virtual machines but however for a better performance use only two or three snapshots so um, as much as you have a snapshot it's going to um, uh, like um, low down the performance of the virtual machines like if you have a uh, if you have a 32 snapshot then you have a uh, going to have all the differential disks for the parent disk and it's going to be hierarchy for the disk for the snapshots disk which has been taken during the snapshot so it's going to impact your performance very badly if you have more than three or four snapshots and even um, if you have a lighter machines like it's uh, simple with a one disk or two disk it's going to be a um, uh, not going to impact much but if you have more than like uh, multiple disks like four or five disks with the one ter terabyte or with the with the like one 100 gig uh, so it's depend on the type of how uh, number of the disk and how much is the disk size so it's going to sometime it's going to perf uh, uh, impact your performance very badly so it's always recommended to have a minimum snapshot and I recommend to use go with the only one snapshot in case you can go with the two snapshots also but as much as low snapshot you can maintain on your infrastructure and do not use a single snapshot for more than 72 hours so this is one thing like like never use the snapshot for the more than three days for the for the virtual machine so in, in case you have a snapshot which is more than three days like older than three days then definitely don't use those snapshot because it's going to wipe your data which has been changed since the three days so when you are using the third party backup software ensure that the snapshot are deleted successful so any any backup tool basically which you you can use in a, your uh, vCenter server infrastructure to take the virtual machine backup it's going to work on the snapshot feature so it's going to take the snapshot and then it's going to um, uh, backup your virtual machine based on the, the incremental 
changes which has been performed since last backup so ensure those snapshot which is automatically going to be taken and deleted by the snapshot it's performing well and you don't have any bad snapshot created by the third party backup application and increasing the disk size when the snapshot are available can corrupt your snapshot and result the data loss so so now we have option also available to increase the disk size when you have a snapshot but it's always going to be a very risky and it can corrupt your uh, disk uh, also with the virtual machine so now let's go here this is my vCenter and if I go to virtual machines and just to show you how to create a snapshot so you can see here if I let's uh, do one thing first let's go to data store and I want to show you the disk how the disk is configured for this virtual machine so you can see here we got multiple logs file but the, if I go to disk you can see we got only one virtual disk here which is uh, Win2K 16 VM01 so now if I go ahead and take the virtual machine this virtual machine snapshot and we'll see how the disk is going to be uh, so manage snapshot if you right click on go to manage snapshot you can see here you can always take the snapshot here so we don't have any snapshot so I'm going to create a snapshot here so just create like I'm going to mark it snapshot 1 so this is snapshot the virtual machine memory so it's going to be um, applied on the on basically running virtual machine backup so the uh, the virtual machine memory is also going to be backup during the snapshot and QS the guest operating system needs VM tools so like if you want to um, uh, file system to be quiz by using the snapshot it's going to be always available but you need VMware tool for that so I'm not going to take both of these so just click on OK so now if I go here you can see this is uh, VMware 7 and here I can see the snapshot count and the disk uses and latest snapshot also you can see the snapshot one and if I go now in a data storage you can see the virtual machine disk is going to be created like we got here you can see this is this uh, uh, the snapshot disk is created now you can see one uh, one disk here which is uh, zero four times zero one VMDK so this is the uh, snapshot disk which now we are basically working on this disk and this is the snapshot reference file VM snapshot you can see and now let's create one more snapshot so I'm going to create one more snapshot so go to snapshot and I'm going to call snapshot 2 and untick this click OK and now if I go to summary you can see two snapshot and this is the size and the latest snapshot size and date everything is there so now if I go to data store just to verify what we have in this folder so you can see now we got two snaps of uh, uh, three virtual disks now and the next snapshot is this and we can see the snapshot file name also so snapshot one and snapshot two so so as much as snapshot you are going to create it's going to create one uh, vm snapshot file and one that uh, for the each disk is going to create one uh, one vmdk file so which is going to be basically incremental so in case you are going to revert these machines these virtual machines is going to be, if you revert on snapshot one the virtual machine is going to be revert on this disk if you are going to revert on two it's going to be disks so this is something what we can do and now if I go here and go to uh, manage snapshot you can see always we have this chain so which we have discussed here so we can have maximum 32 snapshot supported in chain so this is the chain which we have and we have option to revert to so if you want to revert the snapshot you can click here so the virtual machine the current state of virtual machine is going to be lost and save virtual machine revert snap so I'm just going to test it so if I click OK and done now you can see the virtual machine is powered off and if I click OK this is going to be power on the virtual machine since we have uh, not taken the virtual machine 
memory back uh, memory snapshot so now you can see we have we are here on a snapshot one and we can go ahead and delete this snapshot so I'm going to delete this snapshot two so now we have only one snapshot and also you can see here and now if I go to data store and just give you the disk again so you can see here we got only once uh, VM SN file snapshot file and we got only two disk so this is how so as much as you have a snapshot it's going to be uh, based on your um, virtual machine snapshot the disk file and all so if I go again you can see the snapshot and we are here so we have also option to delete all the snapshot here so if I go here and click delete all snapshot you can see this will uh, consolidate and remove all snapshot for this virtual machine snapshot will be considered in a single disk so yes I want to do this so once this is done you can see this is going to be take some time you can see the remove all snapshot task is running and 16 percent completed and it's going to uh, consolidate all the disk virtual machine disk in one vmdk file basically as per as we have one disk only for this virtual machine so you can see it's taking some time because it's going to be like uh, merge all the disk so now this is done and we can see we got only one vmdk file now and we don't have any snapshot uh, file so basic basically this is how we can create and manage the snapshot in vCenter server uh, infrastructure so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post them in my given mail IDs. thank you once again bye bye